Antarctica, the coldest and most mysterious continent on Earth, has captivated scientists with its secrets hidden beneath vast sheets of ice. While the surface of Antarctica has been extensively studied over the past century, what lies beneath has proven to be even more intriguing. Deep beneath the ice cover, researchers have uncovered a massive lake, defying earlier expectations that the region held little more than scattered pockets of subglacial groundwater. This hidden reservoir, known as Lake Vostok, spans about 5,800 square miles or 15,000 square kilometers, roughly 1.5 times the size of the island of Cyprus. The lake's depth reaches a staggering 4,000 feet or over 1,200 meters, falling just 145 feet or 442 meters short of the deepest lake on the planet, Lake Baikal. Lake Vostok was discovered near the Russian polar station Vostok, and its enormity has been accentuated by the colossal ice layer above it, measuring 11,886 feet or 3,623 meters in thickness. The extreme conditions around the lake include temperatures near minus 128.2 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 89 degrees Celsius, ice pressure surpassing that of the icy crust of Jupiter's moons, and an absence of sunlight penetrating to the lake's surface. Despite these harsh conditions, scientists made an astonishing discovery, life in Lake Vostok. A new type of bacteria, named W123-10, was identified in the lake's icy depths. The extremophiles found here exhibited a unique genetic makeup, with only 86% DNA similarity to other known life forms on Earth. The concentration of nitrogen and oxygen in Lake Vostok is 50 times higher than in ordinary freshwater lakes, posing an environment few organisms on Earth could withstand. This revelation challenges our understanding of life's adaptability and resilience. The discovery of a novel bacterium thriving in such extreme conditions expands the frontiers of astrobiology, offering insights into the potential for life in similarly harsh environments beyond Earth. Antarctica's Lake Vostok stands as a testament to the tenacity of life and the mysteries that continue to unfold in the remotest corners of our planet. As scientific exploration advances, the secrets concealed beneath Antarctica's ice may unlock further revelations about the diversity and adaptability of life in some of Earth's most challenging environments. The exploration of Antarctica, particularly the discovery of Lake Vostok and the various subglacial lakes in the region, has revealed a hidden world beneath the ice, with implications for our understanding of life on Earth and the potential for life on other planets. Lake Vostok, isolated from the external environment for several million years, has given scientists valuable insights into the existence of unique ecosystems. The discovery of about 3,500 species of living organisms in the lake, though debated, has sparked important hypotheses. The isolation of Lake Vostok has led scientists to consider the possibility of similar subglacial lakes on Mars and Jupiter's moon Europa, suggesting that life could exist in these extraterrestrial environments. Other subglacial lakes, such as Lake Willens and Lake Ellsworth, contribute to the growing understanding of Antarctica's diverse ecosystems. The total number of ice lakes in Antarctica is estimated to be as many as 400, with ongoing research shedding light on their characteristics. Not all subglacial cavities in Antarctica are filled with water. The Bentley Depression, the deepest continental point not filled with liquid water, provides unique insights into the geological history of Antarctica. The discovery of cratons, stable rocky cores of continents, under the ice of eastern Antarctica further enriches our understanding of the region's geological evolution. These cratons, resembling rocks from Australia, India, and the seabed, are remnants of the ancient supercontinent Gondwana. Observations from space sensors have revealed the uneven distribution of ice in Antarctica. The variation in ice thickness is attributed to the presence of cratons and remnants of Gondwana. The ice of eastern Antarctica, slightly thicker, conceals these geological features. Scientific exploration hasn't been confined to observations from outer space, researchers have undertaken drilling to study Antarctica more closely. 
The use of a special drill with hot water enabled scientists to drill a hole with a depth of 7,060 feet 2,152 meters. Measurements of water pressure, ice temperature, and deformation aim to determine the history of Antarctica's ice sheet and predict future changes. The ongoing exploration of Antarctica, both from space and through on-site research, contributes not only to our understanding of the region's unique ecosystems but also to broader scientific inquiries, including the potential for life beyond Earth and the impact of climate change on polar ice. The appearance of large holes in Antarctica, such as the one in 2017 referred to as Wormwood, raises concerns and sheds light on the complex interactions between climate, weather patterns, and ice dynamics in the region. The 2017 hole, approximately 3,700 square miles or 9,583 square kilometers in size, was a result of a cyclone that occurred in September of that year. The collision of warm and cold air streams at the South Pole led to the formation of swirling winds, reaching speeds of 72 miles or 117 kilometers per hour. This intense turbulence created large waves, up to 52 feet or 16 meters high, pushing out significant chunks of ice and forming the massive hole. Additionally, strong winds brought warm water to the cold Lazarev Sea, contributing to ice melting. The projected growth of the hole to 37,000 square miles or 95,829 square kilometers raises concerns about the future of Antarctica's ice. Torga Martin, a meteorologist and climate modeler in Germany, suggests that the number of cyclones triggering such holes may increase in the future. Moreover, due to climate change, the refreezing of these holes will be slower, accelerating ice melt in Antarctica. However, Diana Francis, an atmospheric climate specialist, sees a silver lining, emphasizing that these holes promote better circulation between the ocean and the atmosphere. For Antarctic animals like penguins or seals, this opens up new food sources. Nevertheless, she acknowledges that large holes could impact ocean circulation and potentially lead to global climate change. Ongoing observations from space contribute to monitoring and understanding the state of Antarctica. In 2019, researchers identified a mountain-like geological structure separating the western and eastern parts of Antarctica. This structure acts as a barrier, protecting the Ross Glacier, the largest glacier in Antarctica, from warm water entry and preventing large ice chunks from spreading into the ocean. Without this barrier, the rate of entry of Antarctic subglacial groundwater into the ocean could increase by 20%, potentially leading to a rise in global sea levels by 38 feet or 11.6 meters. Despite these protective measures, the presence of another hole near the giant glacier contributes to intense melting during the summer months. The possibility of complete melting in Antarctica remains a concern, as it holds 80% of the world's freshwater reserves. The implications extend globally, impacting even cities far from Antarctica, emphasizing the critical role the continent plays in the Earth's climate system. If you're interested in a future video on this subject, please let me know in the comments. I'll leave two video suggestions here. Do you know what to do in case of a nuclear attack? Well then, watch this video and find out.